what changes people is you can see on a on a Friday there's different clientele from a Saturday because on a Friday it's like people have got the it's the end of the week so they're gonna go out for it more and get drink more Saturdays is like yeah you get the same sort of people but not as many it's more like understanding that on a Friday Friday it's just like everyone's finished work we're gonna hit town we're gonna drink 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 when I get down on my luck I hide behind my eyes in Hollywood the same what you know but who you know you need to know someone to know no one when I get down on my luck I roll one up and roll around I buy my lonesome lost some years I used to know I know my fate like bullets in a shotgun <laughs> I'm getting tired now. I'm getting tired. James. Regular muffins. I became a bounce because I was. I wasn't working at the moment, and someone asked me if I'd go down to a local club in Huddersfield to go and to help him out. And I did that for um, a couple of weeks. And after that, they asked me to come back. And since then, I've always been a doorman. Not a bouncer like everyone says it is. It's a door supervisor. Okay, cool. Very cold, man. Cold as <laughs> I've worked it. Not here. Somewhere else, for minus nine. For fun, we were throwing water on the floor and watching it in half an hour freeze up. The main thing is to. Uh, keep everyone in a safe environment and then make sure everyone's enjoying themselves and if there is arguments or anything what needs dealing with we usually have to go in and deal with it I don't want to be on TV, my beard's not fresh. I'll be on TV. <laughs> <laughs> to get your SIA badge, what you need to be a door supervisor, you have to um, go on a two day course and that entitles um, them showing you what to do, how to reject a person, how to talk to people and stuff like that and then after that you do um, the test what's multiple questions A, B and C and if you don't pass that you don't get your license also during that time they do a CRB check to make sure you haven't got any criminal convictions because if you have you're not allowed to be a door supervisor <laughs> Can't use that ID because everyone bounces back in. Right, that's that's it. Right, that's out of there. Can't can't use can't use that ID. Got proof that that's me. Got a picture. What else have we got? Right, I can't, I can't go over it. Same way I don't want to go over it. You cannot use no. a passport that's expired. Right, right, right. I'm just explaining it yeah. to you, right? <laughs> just calm down. Right. You can't use an expired passport for ID. Something so I'm not going to let you in. It's expired. I've always said that alcohol turns people deaf. So when they've had too much to drink, they don't want to listen to you. And then you have to repeat yourself, repeat yourself, repeat yourself. But they will leave, but it's people like you have to tell table. them you in advance. You need to start thinking about drinking up. Because if you don't tell them, tell them that, you're going to be there for ages. It could be. Especially if you know one of them who's 
knows the bar stuff or he knows the law because the law says after they've been given a drink they've got 20 minutes to drink up so you get them odd people who are saying no oh, i've still got 20 minutes to drink up and this and that so it's just a, it's just time consuming and sometimes it's a bit annoying but you have to, it's a part parcel of the job Oh, all right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, no, that was a one-off occasion. All oh, right. I've been there. I've been there. That's a one-off. Like, so I've been out on a night out with like college yeah, friends. And brought your own drink in. Yeah. Well, we've all I've already owned up to that. Right. So, wh what is the point in, in like continuing addition to you know, that comes in all the time? I'm just reminding. Buys overpriced drinks. Yeah. To, to support a place that they want to keep going. Yeah. yeah. And on, a, on one occasion, yeah. I only, I've been coming here longer than you. Right. So, yeah, so. just chill out. The worst experience was when I worked in warehouse. And um, I think there were about four lads and they were, they refused to leave. And without me knowing that, one of them got, had a, one of the snooker eight balls snook pool balls and put it in the back of my head but I didn't know until we they dealt with it that one of the overdormers said you're bleeding at the back of your head and then I went to hospital and they, I had a, a scan on my head and everything were all right. A lot of them if they're bad or whatever they try to get in, they try to get in that back gate or climb over. Best experience is just finishing on time and getting home. It's some because of where we work, it's always, we start at nine and we can go till five. It's just a long shift. And because it, the clientele at our place is not troublesome like other, other clubs and like that, it can be a long night because nothing happens. But then you want that, but then you sometimes you think just a little thing just to make the night go quicker and also where I work there's a big clock right in front of you so you're just constantly watching that clock all the time. Lots of things where you can buy people for uh, too drunk, refusing to leave, um, being racist, being, I don't know, there's loads of stuff. Like about three weeks ago, someone tried to nip a sign from in here. I caught them halfway up the road, they just bar them, don't they? Once they bar, they always come back a few weeks after saying, We're sorry, we're sorry. Yeah. Give them another chance. <laughs> I'll always give them one chance, but after that, if they mess up, they get a, a lengthy bar. On night times, it's like obviously I work Friday and Saturdays mainly. The Friday and Saturdays, I have to go to sleep before I start work, go to work till four o'clock in the morning, then come home. Then Saturdays, mainly I'm just asleep. So the wifey has got the kids, and the kids are running up and causing chaos. I'm trying to get to see, we don't really see not each other on a weekend, so it's affecting us a bit, but money has to be there, doesn't it? I've always said, <laughs> these times when you're going to have to get physical, but the main thing I use is your mouth. And just use your establishment where you're at, the place where you're at, because more than likely they're going to want to come back, and you've got that in your back pocket that when they come back, you can say, no, you're not coming in. Can you remember what you did last <laughs> time? <laughs> Barring for a couple of weeks, that's then they'll right, come back and then they'll, be, they'll, they'll just say sorry to you and apologize because they know they don't want to get bad there again. I can't complain with Parish. These are the worst places than anywhere in town. I know the clientele are all right. They're all okay, no problem. <laughs> Sky wants to do with some alternative bars. Best bar in town, this. Best bar in town. Here he comes up. What 
Hey guys. What do you want you to back? bag? This, I've always said to myself, I want to give it up next year. And if I don't give it up next year, I'm not going to do as many Fridays as Saturdays because I need to spend time with them lot now. It's a good job if you're, what, 21 to, I'd say 21 till about 30. Yeah, it's a good job. You enjoy yourself and stuff like that. But when you start having a family and stuff like that, you don't, you don't want to do it. It's, it's, you're missing out on your kids.